good morning let us study today measurement of conductance measurement of conductivity how the conductance of electrolytic solution how the conductance of ionic solution are measured how the conductance is measured okay before we see how it is measured there are there are there are two types of electrical conductance there are two types of electrical conductance one is electronic conductance or metallic conductance another is electrolytic conductance or ionic conductance yet um, in electronic uh, conduction the conduction is due to flow of electron in metallic conduction it is due to flow of electrons movement of electrons uh, through the metal whereas in electrolytic uh, electrolytic conductance or ionic uh, conductance uh, it, has, it is due to the movement of ions present in the electrolytic solution okay now um, the electrolytic the electronic and the metallic conductance depends upon the nature of the metal nature of the metal structure bcc fcc valence number of valence electron present in the metal uh, and if you increase on increasing temperature conductance decreases when you increase the temperature and the conductance decreases whereas in the case of uh, electrolytic conductance temperature decreases the conductance also increases because of the kinetic energy of the uh, ions increases the kinetic energy of the ions increases now let us see uh, how it, it, what are the factors affect the electrolytic conductance nature of the electrolyte nature of the electrolyte for example strong electrolyte weak electrolyte strong electrolyte will have uh, greater conductance electrolytic conductance uh, for example hcl hcl is uh, highly conductive whereas uh, acetic acid is weak electrolyte it is poorly conductive poorly conductive okay because of the fraction of uh, because of the degree of dissociation is less size of the ion it also depends upon the size of the ion for example uh, and the solvation for example lithium ion beryllium ion Uh, they have um, high effective nuclear charge therefore they are they are heavily hydrated they are heavily hydrated by water or solvent therefore the mobility is less the mobility is less therefore the conductance is less we have seen here here we'll go back and see and also if you in, if the viscosity of the solvent increases if the viscosity of the solvent increases the conductance also decreases conductance decreases and temperature increases the conductance increases as i said the concentration increases the conductance also increases because the more number of ions to, to carry the current to carry the uh, current okay now how the conductance is measured by using wheatstone bridge using wheatstone bridge the conductance or resistance of the electrolytic solution of the electrolytic solution is measured okay Uh, the setup of wheatstone bridge you have studied in your physics uh, electricity chapter the setup for wheatstone bridge is shown here it consists of four resistors r1 r2 r3 r4 okay in this case uh, you have uh, two known resistors r1 r2 known resistors and the resistance r3 is variable resistor the resistance is r3 the resistance r3 is variable and the fourth uh, the electron this is the uh, electrolytic cell this electrolytic cell is connected to this um, okay uh, as the fourth resistor now there is a uh, now this is connected to the wheatstone bridge is uh, given ac power source power supply ac power supply and uh, um, okay now in this case in the, the, the resistance is very the resistance is very uh, until there is no current in the um, galvanometer until there is no current on the galvanometer zero current the current is very till there is no deflection there is no deflection in the galvanometer okay now under this uh, under this condition r1 by r2 that is uh, r by r1 r variable by r2 is applied this expression is used when there is no current in the 
um, Gangnam there. Okay, now therefore, the R1 is known, R2 is known, okay, or the variable resistance, uh, uh, the resistance at which uh, there is null reflection, uh, no, it is known. Therefore, or the resistance of the electrolytic solution, resistance of the electrolytic solution can be obtained. See, the, the resistance is nothing but uh, reciprocal of conductance. Conductance is equal to reciprocal of the resistance. Once you, you measure the resistance, conductance can be calculated. It is just the reciprocal. Okay, now what is uh, conductivity cell? What is conductivity cell? It consists of the conductivity cell. Uh, this is conductivity bridge, this is conductivity cell and uh, this is the electrolytic solution taken in a beaker for example 0 0.001 mole of ACL solution I have taken here uh, for which the conductance uh, is to be measured. This is uh, the length of the electrode, there are two platinum electrode, platinum electrode, okay. The length of the platinum electrode is 1 centimeter and the area of cross section of the platinum electrode is 1 centimeter square. Therefore, uh, let us now, uh, we have taken the electrolytic solution. We know, we have already studied electrochemistry 1, you go back and see the video. The resistance of uh, a conductor is directly proportional to the length of the conductor and inversely proportional to the area of cross section of the conductor. Therefore, R equal to, so length, this, uh, this is the conductor. The conductance between the electrodes are measured. Conductance due to ionic pressure between the electrons are measured. Okay, so R equal to the proportional to the constant rho L by A, that rho is the specific resistance or resistivity. In CBSC book, resistivity, they say conductivity, specific conductance is called conductivity. Okay, L by A equal to cell constant and rho equal to specific resistance. Now, when L equal to 1, A equal to 1 centimeter square, then R equal to 1, 1, R equal to rho. The resistance uh, of the electronic solution is equal to specific resistance when length and area equal to unity. Okay. Now, uh, C equal to 1 by R, as I said earlier, C minus uh, rho inverse, the unit, and 1 by rho equal to drop of conductivity specific conductance. In CPSC book, it is conductivity uh, in state code and other, other books. Specific conductance. Okay, now on taking reciprocal inverse of equation 1, 1 by R, because 1 by R equal to conductance. 1 by rho kappa, kappa divided, divided by cell constant. Because L by A is cell constant inverse, so it will come in the denominator. Okay, therefore C equal to this is a kappa, 1 by rho kappa divided by cell constant. So this is the expression used to calculate the cell constant of the uh, cell. For each cell, the cell constant will vary. Remember, for each cell you are using, the cell constant will vary because the length and the area uh, measurements are, are not reliable. Therefore, uh, the cell constant should be determined uh, if you want to do quantitative calculation. If you want to do quantitative, if you want to do uh, titration, conductometric titration, it is not required. Uh, just we measure the relative conductance. Whereas for quantitative uh, molar conductance, if you want to measure molar conductance, we need to know the uh, cell constant. Okay. So how the cell constant, determination of cell constant, how the cell constant is determined? For example, we will see a problem and what is the cell constant if copper specific resistance specific conductance of 0 0.001 molar KCL at 25 degrees Celsius is 0 0.146 into 10 to the minus 3 Siemens, Siemens uh, unit of conductance uh, centimeter minus 1. Okay, so you have uh, for standard solution 0 0.001 molar uh, KCL solution is a standard solution uh, uh, for which the specific, specific conductance is Given in the clock state, remember this value is given in clock state. This value, copper value, is already determined for accurate cell. For accurate uh, conductivity cell, they have determined and given for 0 0.001, 0 0.01. Uh, for different concentrations, uh, uh, the copper value is given in the clock stable at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay. 
Now you prepare this solution. You prepare this uh, solution in your lab, okay, in SMO class, and then you take 50 ml. So you take 50 ml of this 0.001 molar and KCL solution in a beaker and uh, dip uh, the conductivity cell and measure the conductance. Measure the resistance or conductance. In this case, we'll get con uh, conductance. Therefore, the resistance, the resistance measurement, measured resistance, we are, we are measuring the resistance, therefore resistance equal to 1 by 0, 0 mohm uh, or mohm inverse, 1 by C, resistance equal to 1 by C. Therefore, cell constant, we will just take a cell constant here, kappa by C, kappa by C, therefore cell constant equal to kappa, what is kappa value, kappa 1, 1 by C, 1 by C is nothing but here. 1500 into kappa value. Kappa value is given in the uh, chart table. Uh, in this problem, they are given. Okay, so 0 by 146 into 10 power minus 3 mole inverse. Therefore, we will get additional. Therefore, the cell constant is 0 0.219 centimeter inverse. If you want to calculate the uh, molar conductance, then the molar conductance is calculated by using this expression we have already uh, given okay thousand kappa divided by c where c is the concentration in moles per liter c is the molar molar conductance uh, with the conductance of one molar solution conductance of one molar electron solution therefore kappa is given so uh, concentration is given we can calculate the lambda here. okay so uh, there are several problems asked based on uh, the simple formula, formula. Uh, so please understand if you are if you understood you can solve any type of problems okay uh, thank you for watching we will continue